last segment of the day, let's transition to some NBA and let's talk about the Golden State Warriors as Steph Curry left the game last night against the Indiana Pacers with a shoulder injury and ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski he announced that Steph Curry is going to be out a few weeks with a shoulder injury and so the Warriors are going to have to spend some significant time without Steph Curry and everyone has been talking about today are the Warriors in trouble with Steph now being out for a significant amount of time I believe that the Golden State Warriors are now in trouble with Steph Curry about to miss some significant time because you look at what the Warriors been doing so far this season even with Steph Curry they struggle especially on the road this year they are 12 and 2 at home on the road they're 2 and 13 at home the Warriors average 120 points per game on the road they average 115 points per game at home they only give up 110 points per game and on the road they give up 123 points per game and that average from home to away and opponents points per game would be the largest difference in NBA history. So they've struggled this year, even with Steph Curry on the road. For whatever reason, they can't get stops defensively. This is a team that has a player in Draymond Green who won an NBA Defensive Player of the Year award. You got Kaminga. You got Klay Thompson, who at one point in his career was one of the best defenders in the NBA. And they can't defend on the road. They're struggling. But also, in the last four years, without Steph Curry, the Warriors, they are 24 and 66. So they've only won 27% of their games in the last four years without Steph Curry. You compare that to what they are with Steph, they are 97 and 61. So they win 61% of their games with Steph in the lineup. So this Warriors basketball team, they in some trouble. They in trouble. And right now, they're going to need Jordan Poole to step up. They're they going to need him to step up because, don't forget, in the offseason, Jordan Poole signed a four-year, $140 million new contract extension. So he's going to be expected to step up in a major, major way for this Warriors basketball team. For the season, Jordan Poole is averaging 18 points per game, five assists per game. So he's doing a great job at distributing the basketball. He's doing a good job scoring for the Warriors because a lot of times this year, Klay Thompson didn't suit up. Klay Thompson has been out of the lineup. He's only played in 23 games this year. So in those other games, Jordan Poole has stepped up as a reliable second option to Steph Curry and help this Warriors team win games and score the basketball. So, so Poole is going to be key. Also, Draymond Green, he's going to have to play better as well. He only is averaging eight points this year. Now, we know Draymond Green is not a scorer, but he's going to have to at least score maybe four or five more points per game so he can help the Warriors production offensively and then Andrew Wiggins he's only played in 22 games this year and we saw last year in the NBA finals Andrew Wiggins was sensational and he did a great job against Jason Tatum he outplayed Jason Tatum last year in the NBA finals this year he's averaging nine, 19 points per game five rebounds per game so once they get Wiggins back Wiggins is going to have to step up as well and be more aggressive offensively for this Warriors basketball team. So I, I think that the Warriors, without Steph Curry, they're going to struggle. Steph Curry this year, 
He's averaging 30 points per game, seven rebounds per game, which is a career high. And last night, before he left the game, the man had 38 points on 11 of 19 shooting from the floor, seven assists before leaving that game last night against the Indiana Pacers. So Steph Curry is playing at a high level, and you can make the argument that this is the best season that Steph Curry has had so far in his career. I know it sounds crazy, but go look at the numbers. Steph this year is playing at an MVP level, and if the Warriors weren't 14 and 15, he would definitely be in the NBA MVP conversation. But this year they've been struggling. They sent Wiseman back to the G League. Draymond Green has been a little inconsistent. Wiggins has been dealing with a lot of nagging injuries. Clay Thompson is still trying to get back to being 100%. But I, I, I'm not sure that the, rel, the, the Warriors can stay relevant in the absence of Steph Curry. I'm really not. Like, Clay Thompson is not the same player that he once was. If this was three, four years ago, I think the Warriors would be just fine without Steph. But with, with Clay Thompson now dealing with a lot of nagging injuries and Draymond Green being older, and now they have to rely on a lot of young role players, I'm not sure that this Warriors team is going to be able to overcome the absence of the great Steph Curry. I, I'm just not sure. And they, they're right now, they're on an East Coast road trip. They lost to the Pacers. 125 to 119. And then on Tuesday, they lost to the Milwaukee Bucks, 128 to 111. They are in Philly tomorrow night. That's probably a loss. Then they are in Toronto Sunday. That's a loss. Tuesday, they're in New York at the Mecca. So on this road trip, they are already 0-2. If they go on this road trip 0-6 going back to Golden State and they don't win a single game, that could be trouble for them. If they if they are 14 and 19 when they get back home, when they play at the on this against the Sixers, I'm sorry, not against the Sixers, against the Grizzlies. On December the 25th, on Christmas, that's a Christmas Day game. If they are 14 and 19, they in trouble. They in trouble in the Western Conference. They really, really are. So, man, I, I just don't know if they can remain relevant without Steph. They, I just, I don't know. Like, I like their young core in Kaminga, in Poole, in Wiseman. But I don't know if they're ready to step up in the absence of their superstar. I'm not sure if they're ready to do it yet. So, Steve Kerr, he, he has his work cut out for him. He really, really do. because. If they want to stay in the playoff race, they got to they gotta try to keep the ship in, in the right direction in the absence of Steph Curry. They really, really do. This is why when you had Kevin Durant, they had so much depth with KD, with Clay, with Steph, with Draymond, Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala was still contributing at a high level. They don't have that anymore. They got a lot of young role players who they're relying on to carry the torch in the absence of a Steph or a Clay or a Draymond, if they get hurt, I'm not sure they're going to be able to do it. Everybody go and follow Wise Guys on Twitter at Wise Guys underscore H. Also on Facebook, Wise Guys. And be sure to follow Wise Guys on Instagram at These Guys No Sports.